What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use the groups tool in Revit when working with multi-story buildings. So whenever you have any buildings that have that has a lot of floors and a lot of those floors are simi similar or even the same, then using the groups tool will allow you to work a lot easier and a lot quicker and to make the most important thing is you can you will be able to make uh, any changes quite quickly to all of the floors. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And follow me on social media, I post there as well. So anyway, this I'm in Revit right now, and this is the project that I'm going to be using. This is like one of those uh, beginner tutorials I did. This is kind of how to create a 3D uh, floor plan. And if you want to check that tutorial out, uh, I'm going to be leaving the link in the description. And if you want to get the whole project file, you can just join my Patreon and support me there, and then you'll get access to all of my project files, as well as uh, this one that I'm using over here. But anyway, so this is uh, what we're going to be using. And first, let's get rid of this ugly kind of crop box. So scroll down here and turn these two off. Okay, and now we have this section box that we used to get this cool 3D uh, floor plan, but let's get rid of it as well. So just scroll down over here in the view properties and uncheck section box. Okay, and as you can see now, we have one of these uh, floors uh, with all of the walls and it's going from level 1 to level 2. Now what we want to have is we want to have a multi-story building, perhaps like five floor building, and we want to kind of be repeating this uh, this floor plan. This can maybe be the, the apartment that's kind of being repeated over there. So anyway, and if your floors aren't going from a level 1 to level 2, if you're using some other uh, floor plan, uh, if you select one of the walls or all of the walls uh, over here, it's going to have a base constraint and a top constraint and a top offset as well as a base offset. So I usually like to leave offsets at zero and for the top constraint, if it's unconnected at your file, it may be it's at some ugly big dimension so it's kind of bigger than everything or something just go over here and change it from unconnected to level 2 and then it will look like uh, my floor plan but anyway so let's do the multi-story uh, building so the first thing we need to do is we need to add some more levels when you have uh, a multi-story building you need more levels so let's go to south elevation so we can view those levels and here we've got level 1 and level 2 so let's add some more so I'm just going to be using the level tool on the architecture tab or you can use the shortcut LL so I'm just going to be typing in LL and as you can see now I can place it and let's use the offset option so just select the offset option and as you can see this is 2.8 meters so I'm just going to be typing here 2.8 and then I can add like the same uh, floor height. So let's do level five, level six. So if you have, uh, if, because it's starting from level one, this will be level one and this will be level five over here and just level six is the roof. Anyway, so we've got our levels in place. So now we have everything to kind of create our multi-story building. So let's go back into 3D. And as you can see here, we've got our levels and now to uh, to copy this up and to create turn this from one level to a five-story building let's just do a cross section like this select everything that's over here and now we want to group it so you go here to the modify tab and you've got this group option create group or you can use the shortcut as you can see GP so that's what I'm going to be using so just type in GP and it gives you this create model group dialog. So what you need to do over here right now, you need to just name it. So let's just call it, I don't know, let's call it floor. Just a generic name and uh, let's just hit OK. Now as you can see, when we go to select any of these elements, it's going to be selecting everything. So that's the point of, the, of a group and let's just uh, let's create a some weird wall over here. So if I select this group and if I want to change something in it, maybe change these chairs or something, I need to go here into the edit group and now I can 
change the individual elements on this uh, on this group but if I want to change something else as you can see I can't select this weird wall that I created over here that's the point of groups so you can only work with something that's inside the group when you go into edit group anyway let's just hit finish and let's just delete this uh, wall that I created just to explain that anyway so now let's do the multi-story building so let's select this group that we have and now we need to copy it so you go over here on the modify tab model groups and you've got this copy option copy to clipboard or you can use control C so I'm just going to hit that and now to paste don't go over here to paste you need to open up the drop menu and you've got here aligned to selected levels so what this allows you to do is it allows you to uh, paste this at the levels you choose so now you can just select level 2 to level 5 because we need to, we need we already have it at level 1 and level 6 is just the roof it's not a, another uh, floor so let's just hit OK and now it if we wait for a second and as you can see now it just stacked our floor plan all the way up so that's the point of using groups but uh, another great option that you get when using groups is let's say you need to modify something so as you can see over here I've got this really ugly line going on the facade where the floor is because when this was only just a simple floor plan it wasn't bothering me but now when it's kind of stacked together it's it looks really ugly so let's change that so let's select a random uh, level let's do this one this is level 2 and let's go into edit group and as you can see now we can only edit that group now let's go to level or let's first select this floor that's poking out and it's looking really ugly and now let's go into level 2 and let's edit that uh, floor so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go here to edit boundary and uh, here now we need to change the boundary because now it's on the outside of the wall and it's looking ugly because you can see it let's move it to the inside of the wall so we won't be able to see it from the outside and the wall will be covering it so let's go like that so you just go all the way around moving it to the kind of the inside of the wall do the same thing here now we're going to have some problems here with the bathroom because can, as you can see this is a hole because we have another type of a uh, a floor over here so I'm just going to be deleting these two so just delete this and this and then use the trim and extend tool to trim this trim this and trim this so now we're kinda of going all the way around that new floor that we have there for the bathroom tiles and if you don't know what I'm talking about then check out that tutorial uh, where I showed you how to do that how to do like different floor finishes on a floor plan and again link is in the description so let's now move this to the inside and now we've got a warning popping out because we have some overlapping lines over here so let's just delete this line let's okay and do s okay SL for split element and now trim and extend for trimming everything so just use shortcuts that's the best way to go okay and as, now as you can see it's on the inside so let's go into 3d and let's just hit finish uh, nope and just go uh, and as you can see now over here we don't have that ugly line anymore but if I go and uh, zoom out for a second and hit finish hey so there is no floor anywhere so basically if you change any of the instances of this uh, floor plan or this group it will change all of the other groups so that's the point of using groups so when you're doing a multi-story building so let's say you have a section running through this building so if I go into level 1 and let's create a simple section kinda like that now if I select any group and if I do a change so I'll edit group and maybe change this office a bit kind of like that and just go finish it will change as you can see all of the floors so you don't have to worry when you uh, when you're working with kind of a uh, a building where you have a, a typical floor that's being repeated all the way up you don't have to worry about when you make a change to one of them will it mess up the section and be kind of different when you're using groups you avoid this and it makes the whole uh, work process a lot simpler and a lot quicker to edit 
Okay, so anyway, I hope you have learned something new and useful in this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you want to get this project file that I just created, go to my Patreon, first link in the description, and you can get access to all of my project files as well as one-on-one -on -one tutoring if that's something you're interested in. But anyway, that's it for this tutorial and I'll see you tomorrow.